everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a Google Ads smart campaign. So these are these easy to build localized Google Ads search campaigns that show up in multiple places. Uh, just to show you some images here. Uh, this is kind of what they look like and I'll walk you through this process um, to help you grow your business or uh, if you're a marketer. This is going to be a great process showing you how to set up a local smart campaign and how to manage and optimize that campaign. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Max Frederick, founder of Momentum Digital. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for post notifications. Every week I create videos and blogs talking about digital marketing, SEO, digital advertising, and how to grow your business with Google and on the internet. Um, so let's jump into it. to set up and manage a Google Ads smart campaign. So these are different from standard search ads. So if you look at these smart ads here, it's a new option that you can use to create where it says smart right here. Um, whenever it gets, uh, gives you an option for what type of campaign you wanna create. Uh, these come up on Google Search, Display, YouTube, and Gmail, also in Google Maps. So they kind of show up everywhere, but localized using keyword groups and themes. They also use images uh, and you can tweak these. And it's kind of like boosting a Facebook post. Um, this is what the setup sort of looks like. You can try to get more calls, website traffic, customers and branding. Uh, very easy to use, very easy to set up, only takes a few minutes. And uh, it's not the best use of your budget, but if you have a smaller budget, you can't afford a marketing expert or Google ads, pay-per-click manager, uh, it's good enough to work and to optimize yourself without uh, wasting too much time or money. Uh, so to jump into it, you can get directly from there from, you know, let's say your Google My Business account, they'll try to encourage you with like free money, free ad spend on Google, um, or you can go uh, directly to Google Ads, which is ads.google.com. Make sure you have a business account or even a Gmail. Uh, if you go through Google My Business, which is now managed on search. We'll just take one of our locations here. Uh, they're heavily pushing you to advertise on Google and they wanna make it as easy as possible. So you set up your account information, your billing information, and then you just choose some keywords, location targeting, budget. You can add some images and some text copy and just turn it on. And they really try to keep you from turning it off. Uh, you have to answer a lot of questions before you turn the ads off. But if you're looking at your business on Google search, uh, which used to be from Google My Business or from the app. You can go to Advertise, this button right here. So you'll notice this if you just search your business name on Google, and if you're logged in, uh, you can pretty much advertise or manage your listing from there. Uh, this is where you can choose your account if you already have one. If you don't, it's gonna bypass this and let you set up an account. So what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna sign in, and I already have the account pulled up. Um, so this is what it'll look like. Uh, we'll get to the page where it'll look like for you if you're a first time advertiser new to Google Ads. Um, but if you're going through the traditional um, Google Ads manager, then what you can do is go to create a, uh, a campaign without a goals guidance, choose smart campaign, reach customers with a one-stop solution built for small businesses. So this is like small business Google Ads 101. Um, this is what it'll look like if you're setting it up for the first time, you'll get to this page. And from here, you wanna choose your business. So let's say for example, we're gonna use my friend's company, Heaven Spa, great spa near Philadelphia if you're ever in the area. Um, so this will pull in your Google My Business account. Uh, it's typically much better if you have an actual address instead of a service area business, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, you can choose to send your traffic. It's gonna say, where do you wanna send people after they click the ad? To your business profile, where you can kind of preview it right here. Uh, you, you know, you can customize this in your Google business profile, you know, your name, address, phone number, images, descriptions, hours, locations, photos, all that stuff. That looks great. Or you can send the traffic to your website. Now, if, you don't, if you're not sure what service to advertise and you just want general branding and advertising and awareness, just go to your business profile, especially if you want more uh, viewable, viewable visibility of your profile, your reviews, uh, directions, Google Maps, all that. 
If you have a specific product or service and you want to take them to a web page, choose your website. For now, the recommended result is the business profile. So it's going to scan, you know, hit next. It'll scan the business profile. That's what it'll look like a mobile versus desktop. Click next. Preferably, most of these ads will be targeting uh, your mobile phone, which gets nearly 70% of all search results anyways, even more for local search results. Uh, and you, if you want more phone calls, choose phone calls. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you want more website leads or sales, choose website, physical location. You know, that's more driving directions, requests, or more engagement views on YouTube. You can choose that too. We're going to go with phone calls. And we're actually going to cater this to a specific time of year, holiday. Um, so I'm just going to walk through this process. I'm not going to completely build out this ad. But if I just go to their website, this is what their website looks like. We're still trying to get uh, the client to rebuild this with us. But um, still a decent website, different specials, certificates, services, etc. What you're going to want to do here whoops, is just write out eye-catching information about your business. Best spa near Philadelphia, blah, blah, blah. Um, offering spa treatment and facials. You only have a 30 character limit, so be cautious of that. Offering spa treatment, or just put spa treatment and facials. Uh, we want to say something about discounts for MLK Day. And add as many as it allows you because Google's AI tries to show the best ad to the best person at the best time. So then you can add longer descriptions of 90 characters. Uh, it's going to give you some prompted descriptions here. Just fill this out. Make sure you're using good keywords and calls to action about call now, visit us, blah, blah, blah. Then you can use a phone number and call button if you're using the call ads. And you can have it show your location, which is great. Uh, eventually, you'll get to name the campaign as well. Let me just fill in some text here. And it'll have this kind of pre-scripted for you if you just want to make it easy. Next, you're going to go to uh, the keyword category page. So it's a keyword theme. So this one doesn't matter as much for us because it's like kind of a special you know, time of year. But this is where you can choose keyword themes. Now it's a not exact keyword. So this could be massages, uh, couples therapy. It could kind of show up for anything. So you need to be cautious of that within the negative keywords, which I'll show in a second. After you choose your keyword themes, choose your radius. If you want a small radius or a big radius around your location, or you can choose specific zip codes, cities, regions, maybe certain wealthier areas you want to target for higher end clientele. You can do that as well. So it'll show that right there on the map. Then you choose a budget, very self-explanatory. You can even go as low as a dollar a day. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a dollar fifty a day now. Um, then hit next, and then you'll add your billing. Make sure you have your credit card linked. Then you can preview the campaign itself, and you can rename the campaign right here. only so we're not actually going to run this one you can see how this looks go through this little here this little uh, reel review all the information you input hit next kind of walks you through the process and then it'll say pending for typically less than 24 hours and then it'll get approved within here next thing you want to do is uh, optimize your ads and landing page. So this is where you can edit the ad, the copy, the descriptions, add more headlines. Um, you should also be adding images and these need to be certain character limits. So click on this learn, or not a character, uh, size limit. So click on learn more to learn more about the best size options. You can just upload and drag and drop these in here if you have some good images. Pop those right in. Make sure you're using at least three rectangle and three square images, as well as at least one logo version, which needs to be one-to-one -one format. Um, so add those as much as you can here that's relevant to this ad or your product or service. 
landing page is gonna be the business page on Google. You can change that to your website if you want. It'll show the business information right here. You can edit that as needed. And like I said, these will show up in a lot of different areas. Um, search, display, Google Maps, even on YouTube. So do a good job with your calls to action, with your text, with your images. Make sure it makes sense. Uh, it is pretty easy to, to waste a lot of money here, even though it doesn't take up much time. So what you want to do to manage this correctly is you'll go back and then you'll go to, let's pick a different campaign that's already running. And you want to review the keywords report. So this is the search terms and keyword themes report. Now you can remove keywords that have nothing to do with your business. Sometimes you'll see those pop in here. Um, if it's something that you don't want to be showing up for that you're already getting clicks and impressions for, you can actually remove those keywords, which is nice. So you can see we've removed some like sauna near me, Korean spa, uh, it's not a black owned spa. Um, what else? Bathhouse, no, definitely not a bathhouse. Um, group spa, couples, facials, body to body. No, it's not that. So you click these, check these boxes, and then add them as negative keywords. Uh, and you can see the keyword themes you chose and the negative keywords you're adding. Make sure you're checking this on a weekly basis. Make sure you're updating your ad copy. Make sure you're updating your keywords and your images to go along with the seasonality, with your specials, details, coupons. You can always see your reporting here right in the dashboard, your impressions, clicks, actions, and calls. So that's pretty much how you set it up and manage it within 10 minutes. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is really good for small or new business owners looking to drive traffic, awareness, calls, and customers. Uh, and it can work really well if you manage it correctly. Just spend one hour a week in here, and that's all you really need. Um, thanks again for watching. My name is Matt Frederick. Follow us on social media. Hit subscribe. Turn on the bell for post notifications. Email me. More information in the YouTube video details. And I uh, hope this is beneficial. Contact us if you are looking to grow your business uh, moving forward and if you need help with any digital marketing, SEO, or ads. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.